Welcome back to more Rune Factory 5, everybody. So in the last episode, we were here in the 11th of the uh, of spring. And what we're going to do before we go ahead and finish off this day is we're just going to go ahead and use up our RP that has filled up, you know, gradually throughout the day. Might as well. And now we're also going to do this one here. A nice, a nice little random stump here. There we go. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to pick... That's fine, yes. okay. We'll take nice. that, and then... All that's pretty much left is this here. And there's a random branch, which, which, um... I like to pick these up and just throw them. That way I can get some throwing skill ups, you know? And then we'll just go in here and dump all this stuff in there. We are at only four. Wow, we need a lot of... We need stone. We really need some stone. We're also gonna come over here, um... Then we gotta put some stuff in there. No. What we have to do is go in here and put some stuff in here. Okay, I'm just gonna put in pretty much all of this here. I don't need any of that right now. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh wait, I missed. I mean, I don't. I shouldn't care too much about all these herbs because I'm gonna be getting so many anyway. You know, like I don't know. It's, it's not really a big deal. There we go. Okay, I'm done for today. Even though I still have some RP left over, I think it's better to just go ahead and advance um, to the next day. So let's do that. Alright. What's the next uh, story quest? Is there a story quest? Uh, nothing's really showing up here, so I don't know. Oh, look at that. More of this. Okay. We're going to just start attacking this thing here. That was nine whole pieces of lumber. Okay. Anything else with the, with the axe? Nope. Let's switch over. We're gonna break this to get some material stone. Alright, All right, so now what we're going to do, what we're gonna to do today is, um, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to think of what the best possible way to do all this would be. Oh, that actually is another one of those. It's fine. Okay, well, obviously, we're gonna start with watering. There we go. One at a time, we'll just do them all. I should actually take all these. Alright! Look at that. Um I kinda wanna sell some of these. This is a lot of them. This is a lot. Oh, there's actually more in there, but I couldn't get them all. Cause I could either sell them or use them for a recipe, but I think I'm gonna sell these for now. Cause I don't think I have access to too many recipes yet for these. It's not a big deal either way. I mean, it's fine. This one's a turnip. We're definitely going to keep this. This is fodder. Fodder, um, we are going to want to basically store. Uh, not there. This goes into shipping or storage box. Yeah. You'll see why. I mean, it's kind of good to have a bunch of fodder as well. Hope it comes out okay. Watering time. Yes. Go big and strong, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh. No, it takes a while, that's so why I'm not talking too much, but I'm trying to just get through it pretty fast. Hope it comes out okay. Go big and strong, okay? Hope it comes out okay. Okay, now we got some more over here. Four, five, six, and then one Hope right over here. Okay. okay. All right. And then last, we're gonna dump all this in there. Let's see how we're at now. 
10 and 90. That's still not a lot of stone. Okay, so as far as what there is, let's actually start by seeing if there's anything here. No requests available. Okay, we're still building on those, all those gradually. That's fine. The next thing to do is, oh wait, it's actually, well, I should take some of these stuff for gifting. Okay, that's why I feel like it's not a big deal if I end up keeping a lot of these, because I end up getting these so fast, like so many of them, you know? Uh, wh where did you go? Oh, there's a story quest. Nice. Hey, you. Yeah, take it. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way over to the location for the story quest, which would be right in here, and see what happens. Hmm, what to do? Rock, paper, scissors? It's fine with me. Thanks to your hard work, Seath doesn't need our help anymore. So now we're trying to think of something else to do, like a part-time job. I've got it! You can help us decide. Huh? Alright, I guess I'm gonna decide here. Just tell us who you think is a better fit for what. The person best suited for the bakery is... Hmm... I'm gonna go with Lucy. Guess that means I should apply to the general store. Thanks! Okay. Yeah! So like, I really get to decide that? Where they work at for the rest of the game? Hmm. That's interesting. Well, that was it for the story quest for the day, it seems. That's... alright. Just, you know, because you only get, like, one... one per day, I'm pretty sure. And so that means, like, once you get it, you don't have to go to the next day. You know, and then wait. Why is there... oh. That's funny. Yeah, so... let's see what I'm gonna do, because this yes. shop opens at... bartering. 12 to 9. A lot of these stores are, yes. They open much, much later. It's only 8.05 a.m. In terms of what I want to do, all the stores are going to take a while. So I should probably try and see if... I mean, I can always get more of that grass stuff. Oh, here's somebody I can give gifts to. Because I don't know how, how beneficial it would be if I go out and farm right now, because it's not like I can, you know... Go out and do everything right now. But one thing you can actually do, and, and I and I should mention this right now. So, like for example, if we go to the crafting table, and I'm gonna show this to you. Well, okay, okay hold on. But what am I missing? I'm missing boots. Okay. So, or shoes, whatever. Can I make shoes at all? So it says I have none. Now, one of the really cool things about Rune Factory games is that if you actually um, and I'm pulling this up. If you actually know the quest ahead of time, what you can do is actually just make them yourself, I'm pretty sure. So like, for example, the very weakest boots is requires leather boots as fur type, plus three. But I don't know if I really, okay. I guess I'll make that. So for example, I think if I just choose one fur, let's say, and I go here, material, 156, and I press OK. Hopefully this works. Yeah, I made leather boots. Now once you make it, it does actually appear here. We also did up our skill up for doing that, crafting fire, okay, that's fire, what the hell? And now that we made them, we can actually equip them. It's a recommended strategy to you know look this up online to see what you can make earlier before you have the recipe because it will actually help a lot. So I'm going to equip that and now we just got some defense. And you can keep doing that for basically every little thing. So 
that's boots. Um, so, like for example, for I mean, for hats we have. I mean, that's the the blue ribbon. I mean, I guess that's fine. Or it's called a headgear. But like, there's also a green ribbon where you can use green grass. Well, that's only magic defense plus three. That, that's fine. There's like spectacles. There's like there's a straw hat as well, which if you know, I don't really think I need to do any of this stuff. Um, for regular armor, for example, shirt is the weakest, but there's also vest. Vest is clothes and skins and then fur type. So what I can do with this is if I do a cloak or cloth and skin, my bad, and then fur. I don't know if I have enough RP though. Probably not, because I did just use up a bunch of it. But we'll see. So if we go here and select a cloth, and select this, yeah, that's a lot. Holy shit, that's a lot. We're gonna have to wait for this to actually fill up a little bit, unfortunately, but hopefully that makes sense. Um, it is very useful to get ahead of it. Like, it really is. I'm not kidding you, because you don't really need to rely on the bread. I'm still gonna try and get it as much as possible, because it's a let's play and I like to actually show stuff like that, you know? Like, that I have it. But... You don't actually need to if you don't want to. If you don't want to have it. Okay, I should probably chop these now. Like, I just keep throwing them, but might be a good idea to actually, you know, chop them up. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, and then that's about all I can do here. Just put that away. And then, so, like, for swords. For swords, like, I actually, because uh, you're probably thinking, just make the next sword. It's not that simple. Because, when, uh, like, what you can do ahead of it, ahead of what the game is, where the game is at, is actually knowing the recipes. But, getting the materials is another thing. That part's actually difficult, because there's no way to cheat that. There really is no way to cheat that early. You have to wait until that part of the game, or dungeon, that has that particular material. Um, let's see here. This one opens at... whoops, wrong one. Oh no, no that, that one's at 12, my bad. The one that I want to go to is the... Um... Actually, do I even want to do that? That's gonna be like, that's like super late. Oh my god. I should probably just go on to the... over here then. Run down so I wish there was a warp over there, but there actually isn't. Like, how do you unlock more warps? I have no idea. Oh, look, it's you. Uh, whoops, wrong button. That's that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this and give that to you. Take it. Alright, um... Well, there's you over here. This is Hina. We will give this to you. Okay, I'm gonna keep running south though. Wait, is this the right side? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. We're good. Because, like, if I want to just, you know, fight some enemies and stuff to kill time, I, I mean, I guess I might as well do it, like, until it's. Or I could also just go on to the next day though. That's the thing that I. I'm not too sure about, you know, when, like, what would actually be the better decision. Here's Beatrice. Hmm. <laughs> Such formalities. Damn, that's like. Wow. You're very forward, Beatrice. I'm just saying. Can you be any more obvious that you like me? That you're in love with me? Uh, I guess, that sort of thing. Okay, um, let's go. We got some more, another walking skill up. We're gonna get this to you. This will also talk to you regularly. Yeah, they're all talking about Beatrice and Reynard. Okay. So, it's currently 9.40 a.m. Hmm. We're going to... Yeah, it's over there. I actually walked past it. It's this one right here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, might as well spend some time defeating some enemies. You know, if there's not really much else I can I can do. 
Let's do this. Alright, let's see what we find here. So, first of all, there's a box. That's a weed. I mean, that's probably the worst damn thing. Whatever, it's fine. What the hell? I totally pressed... Didn't I press the button? He still ended up hitting me. Hmm. I do have to get a little better at dodging, because once I start facing tougher enemies, it's going to be a little more rough, you know? Also this, these are going to be mostly just, um... Like, iron, probably. Or scrap metal, I mean, just even worse. Whatever. Whoa, did you just freaking... Did you see that? that? That was a ghost. That was a ghost. Seriously. He just, like, floated towards me. I'm pretty sure you saw that. There we go. And over here we have this right here. Oh, that's a, a medicinal herb. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll take that for sure. Fake green pepper. These are always hilarious. Yes. Hello, we actually got a green pepper. That's funny. Nothing there. Yeah, I'm hoping we get some uh, some level ups here because right now we're currently level 17. Okay, which is actually pretty good considering where we are in the game. I mean, I'm I'm just saying. Got some uh, medicine in there. And we'll take the rest. There's a uh, old bandage, okay. Oh, this is that boulder area, huh? huh. Currently a level, yeah. God, it's fine. Time to pass so slowly. Like, if you want to wait for 12 o'clock for a shop to open, my God, is it going to take forever? By this point, I should probably just not even worry about about all that, because like I don't really like I don't need to do it. You know, I really don't need to. You just figure out on your own the recipes for, for everything. I think over there we'll go into the next one, next floor. Sure. Yes. Ooh, potato seeds. Yes. That was random. And a green pepper seed. That's so random. Oh, here's a switch again, but nothing you can do with that. Yeah, because like once you already go through a dungeon one time, like you're done. You don't like you're not gonna be redoing the whole dungeon again. That's what's really nice. If you want to actually grind for stuff, it's a lot easier to traverse a dungeon, especially if something is like much later. You know? Oh wow, what the hell? There we go. Onigiri. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll take that for sure. What the hell? Oh, never mind. What's over here? So yeah, I already have the pickup from these guys. Like, one thing that's also kind of good to do is, um, like, typically what you want to kind of do is, um, like, like, see what common drop each enemy has. Like, for example, these drop those, like, what are they called? Ghost hoods or something like that? So, like, it, it's yes. good to have that because... Well, that's rusted iron. Because if you have that, then you'll actually be able to... 
uh, know like okay I grinded from that enemy already so like I, I know that that's the enemy that they give me so I don't need to actually keep going and trying to you know see what item they're gonna give me if that makes sense like these I believe give it was fishbone I'm pretty sure nice can or fish fossil yeah fish fossil okay uh, that's actually gonna be enough I'm gonna go to warp uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna return home sure All right, so I want to see what kind of bread they're actually going to, um, wait, is that this? No, that would be, it's, it's, oh, I'll go in this one, I think, that one. Because, like, they've only been selling cooking bread for the most part. Like, that's been the one, but... I also know that, like, they eventually start selling different ones. Regardless, again, I I'm really just considering not even doing that with the breads because I don't need to. Like, I really don't need to do that. Uh, we're going to what is what's over here? What is that? All right. Why did that take forever? That was a, kind of a glitch or something. Okay, let's go in here and check out what they what they got. Do. Okay, recipe bread. Yeah, see, so you only keep giving cooking bread. I don't know why. I'll just take it, but it's kind of weird. Don't they have more different types of bread? I don't know. Well, anyway, um, what I'm going to do in that case is, yeah, I'm going to go back into the field. Because I think what I'm going to do is I can definitely make that better armor. You know, to give me some more defense. That'd be nice. Even though, oh, I still have a lot of RP remaining, or not enough yet, I mean, I should say. Oh, now, let, let's see here. We're going to gonna make armor. That's just so much goddamn RP, man. But, but I mean, I know I have to do this, you know, I, I gotta do this. Let's see, we're gonna do that plus, yeah, that, that's a lot. So if we press OK, I'm gonna take a huge HP hit here. Did I take? Yeah, I took. I took the HP hit, but it's fine. Again, you got you got to improve them. So, like for example, that was um, crafting. I'm at level five now with this, so it's worth it to you know to increase it. Um, all right, so now we're going to go ahead and equip that. So we're gonna go over. Uh, where is it? This one over here. This one is nine defense, two magic defense. We can equip it. This one was five defense. We are going to keep this one, though, so we can actually go ahead and upgrade our weapons and stuff, you know? But I think we're just going to call it a day. I know it's really early to do that, but when you run out of RP, it's not like you really have much to do unless you want to refill it all. Which you actually can't. There is a bath. And I should make a note. There is actually a bath. One of the one of the shops actually has it, and I should be I should probably take advantage of it, to be honest. I really should do it. Oh, there's another uh, story quest here. I'll gladly take that. Let's go. Hello, shiny. Good timing. I'd like to introduce you to someone. Another new person? Who are you? You like you look like a ranger. So this is the one. It's a little shiny new recruit. This is Ranger Scarlet, a seed veteran, recently returned from an assignment at headquarters. I'm trying to nice to meet you. Pardon me, but I've no interest in playing these games. Huh? Captain Livia was just telling me about you. Frankly, I cannot accept your admittance to seed. The hell? To become a ranger, one wants complete extensive training and a rigorous exam. Only the best, the best are admitted. So, Miranda, what the hell is wrong with you? Did, I already did stuff. I defeated two bosses in two dungeons. Mm. Hold on, I'm the one who asked Shiny for his help. However, 
and now for my things. But is that enough to make him a full-fledged ranger? Pathetic as the circumstances may be, I cannot accept yeah. this. My, my, you're as stubborn as ever. So you're saying that you need natural talent and harder in school to join Seed? Yes, precisely. Well, that makes things easier. In that case, we'll need to prove that Shiny is a better ranger than you. Oh, what? I cannot let that slide. Are you suggesting that this rookie is more capable than me? No, I'm merely saying that I have faith in him. It's all right. Fine. Your faith has piqued my interest. I accept your challenge. All right. Well then, that's settled. Are you okay with this shiny? No way I'm backing down now. <laughs> Good answer. Show what you're made of. Understood. What are we doing? How should we conduct mm. this competition? HK gave you an assignment, right? You took it a race to see who competes at first. An assignment from headquarters? Recently, runes have been disappearing without a trace throughout all of Norad, but as the rune energy evaporates, that throws nature itself into chaos. Yes, it's just as you say. Seed has ordered rangers across the land to investigate these strange occurrences. HQ requested that we survey their rune spot in the Kelvi Lava Caves. What's a rune spot? A natural wonder from which rune energy springs forth in high concentrations. If runes no longer flow from their spots, then the entire region will suffer. We've already seen dried up lakes and barren fields as a direct consequence of runic depletion. We've also had reports of monsters running amok. HQ is doing everything in their power to contain the situation. Our goal is to prevent any more disasters from happening. That's a lot to process. Then stay home. I can handle this on my own, so you're welcome to take a nap or something. I can't just sit idly by when li lives are in danger. I'll take care of this myself. Is that so? Then may the best yes. ranger win. Yes. Kelby Lava Caves are now available. Where the freaking... What the... Okay, I actually didn't even know you could go that way. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I did not know you could go that way. There is a warp spot here, though. That was not there before, I don't think. Then again, it's not like I ever moved my map to that direction. Should I warp over there, or should I actually check and see what we got on the way, though? And there's like a there's like a snowy area over there. Yeah, this map is actually... Oh, you know what? I think it's because it was blocked by the clouds. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay, not a big deal. Anyway. Let's go ahead and, um... Yeah, do, keep going. Do the next thing. So what we're going to do, let's start by looking at requests. No need requests, as I figured. Alright, let's go and grab some stuff here. Like always, you know. Our daily dose of these herbs. Okay. I'll just put that in there. Okay, so what is ready? These are ready. These are turnips, which I should probably go ahead and cook. So I will actually keep these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chop up this bamboo shoot. Just trying to clean up as much as possible here, you know? I'll put that away. Anything else that's ready? These are not... I don't think these... I, yeah, none of these are ready. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and equip the watering can and just water away. Oh wait, we're out of water. How are we out of water so damn quickly? That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Well, we do have to upgrade this damn watering can eventually then. We got this, we got this, all the way. Gotta fill it up again. Already. Watering time. Oh, I missed one. Watering time. Hope it comes out okay. Yeah, he won't move automatically if the spot is already watered, as you just saw right there. So having a water spot in the middle does actually cause interruptions to your fast process. Because what I'm doing there is just mashing the B button and he's just doing it by himself, you know? He he moves forward to it by himself. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I guess just head over there. Um yeah, sure. Well, actually, I should clear my inventory really quick. Might be a good idea to do it. Not that I feel like I'm going to use up everything in there, but... I mean, you never know, right? Scrap metal, medicinal herb... Oh, I never actually planted those. Shoot, I should probably do that. And then we have these other stuff, which I should probably also get rid of. Here's some um, uh, sweet powder, fish fossil... I can put those away. 
That's just trash. That's useless. So I can just get rid of that. Okay. And then for the fridge, we're gonna put we'll put the turnips. Um. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep this stuff for now. That's fine. Wait, farming bread. Give me that farming bread. I think I actually make use of that. We'll put that away. Okay. Let's see if we actually can. I feel like I can. No? Oh, never mind. Put that away. Okay. Uh, we'll come over here into the shipping bin and we're gonna put in... I think it'd just be the flowers, probably. Well, no. That fail dish. That random freaking can. Wait, didn't I put the farming bread away? What the hell is going on? I, I, I swear I put the farming bread away. Yeah, because you can just put it away like that. Okay, so the other thing we should do then really quick is... Equip this. There's actually two spots right here. Put that there. And then put that there. Perfect. We got the watering can. Water both. And we're done. I think we're done. Okay, we have a weed, but who cares? I'm gonna just leave the weed in there. It's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way through. What is that? Oh, it's nice to know that these are here in case I ever need some mushrooms. Because the mushrooms, I really only found them in the Whispering Woods, I believe. But now I know they're also here, so pretty good but yeah I know I can warp but because it's my first time going through I, I'm actually gonna run through it because I want to see if there's any items on the way any enemies on the way just so we know for grinding purposes later you know but I'm not seeing anything it's actually very straightforward because the warp point is we're actually pretty close to it here there's a fork there's a section to the left but that's gonna lead to a new area which I don't even think I have access to yet Right? Wouldn't this actually be blocked off? There's a save point there. Hmm, what does this say? To Lake Yumina. I'll take the save point, but I'm not gonna go this way. I feel like I... It'd, it'd be pretty, pretty stupid of me to actually do that, so... What? How did I... Oh, I think it's because I pressed the B button one, one extra time. Yeah, so the fork is the war point, right? No, actually, the fork is uh, a little bit before the war point. Ooh, we got some money. Very nice, very nice. I like that. But yeah, there's literally nothing on the way, as you can see. So there's no point in ever just walking this pathway. Always warp if you're going to head up here. Always warp. I see enemies. Woolies, these are black. Okay. That's where we find more antidote grass. That's nothing special. What's this? Green grass. Nothing special either. Here's a treasure. This is a, an antidote potion and a vest. What is that? Oh, wait. That's already what I have. Nine, two. It's the same thing. Yeah, it is. Well, whatever, that's fine. This is a spider. Okay, I don't know what spider stuff. It might be some kind of silk item. But again, like always, it's important to know to try and grind that specific item. Did they drop anything? I don't think they did. Not this time. No. Here we have more grass. Okay. Rune flower. I might as well take it. Sure. That's what I see here. What's over here? Shadow Panther. And then slimes. Wasn't the one that I was looking for like a crazy slime enemy or something? The, you know? The next hunted thing? There's a nice name, Shadow Panther. Nobody's dropping anything though, what the hell? Not even there, oh my god. 
Here's a treasure, let's take this. Steel sword? Isn't that what I already have? Attack plus 29. Attack plus 29 is Dizzy 6. Dude, why am I getting all the stuff I already have? What the hell? You've got to be shitting me. I wasn't ready. Yeah, like when you're attacking midway, that's the thing about, you know, it can be a little tricky because... Like, you can't really dodge immediately, you know? Give me all this. Nobody's dropping anything. That's... Oh, wait, there we go. Vine. Oh, the vine. Yeah, I remember all these freaking items. It's all... It's particularly, like... That's what I've been getting about a lot of comments. A lot of people are saying that it's pretty much the same game. Just 3D. And a different story, like different characters. But, like, the gameplay... Aside from it being 3D, like... Well, I guess I shouldn't say the gameplay. More like the features of the game are pretty much identical. It's just copy-paste from, like, Moon Factory 4 especially. Which it is, I mean... The enemies are the same. The item drops are the same. The way that you make recipes are the same. Like, if, if you have that entire list memorized of all, like, weapons and armor in Moon Factory 4, you don't need to look up anything. You just use the same exact knowledge you have for that game and you can make any weapon or armor in the game. Like that. Which is kind of interesting that, you know, they chose that route. Okay, so the location is way over there, okay. I see a slime enemy here. Where is the... Oh, there it is, there it is, this thing. I'm looking for... Dude, move! Oh, I got a perfect... What do you call it? Perfect whatever. Skill up! First level is increased, we're going to have to perform ultimate attacks, press the button repeatedly to perform a weapon combo, then repeatedly hit a button at the end of the combo. Okay. Dude, no! Why did you change targets, man? Oh god. This is a monster box. Can you drop anything? It's a broken hilt. That'll be useful for later, probably. No items here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, well, here's one thing I should do, actually. Because there's a lot of enemies here. But what I really should do is just move on. because, Well, actually, because I could probably easily get the next thing that I'm looking for here. Which would be the bronze. That's... All iron. Okay, it's not that. That's what I need. No, wait, no, no, no. That's, that's, an, that's an earth crystal. I thought it was actually copper or bronze. And that's all just... This, I believe, is always just material stone. Yeah. Okay, that's just earth crystals. Okay. We're gonna keep moving, though. Because I think that, oh, there's a treasure over there, though. We will get the treasure. Those are fire slimes. See, all these enemies we do actually want to face. What the hell? A lance? Never been a big fan of lances in, um, in Moon Factory games. They're, they have really good range, don't get me wrong, but they're also pretty freaking slow. What is that? Ignis. Yeah, so I'm going to be exploring this more thoroughly once I actually have better stuff, like better equipment and stuff, because the issue that I'm having now is that I'm doing too little damage, unfortunately. So, what I should do is just make a run for it. There is actually something here, though. I do want to grab this treasure. Scythe? Okay. We'll take it, I guess. We'll save again here. Because from what I know, the copper or bronze or whatever can actually be found in here. And this is the next dungeon of the game. Kelby Lava Caves. Alright. 
So let's see. Okay, the very first thing is this. It's bronzer. There we go. We found it already. This is where you find it. I know we're probably gonna need several of this if we want to make any other weapons or armor, but it's nice that we're here. Now, before you keep advancing, I recommend going back and upgrading your weapons. Now that you have access to bronze, it'll be good. It's good that you can actually go back. Well, let me go a little forward to see if there's any more places to, you know, use this. What the hell? Water laser. Nice. Paragon. I'm not seeing any, any enemies yet. Oh, did I see those? Okay. Treasure. Yes. Give me this. Weapon bread. Nice. Okay, so I actually do have to fight these unfortunate. Actually, wait a minute. I want to test something. If you're stuck like this, can you actually go back? Oh my god, you actually can. That's good to know. That means you're not actually stuck stuck if you ever get into a situation like that. But yeah, I'm glad I'm going back because the big thing that I want here, like I keep saying, is that bronze. Because... With that bronze, what you can actually do, and I'll actually go to my little list of stuff here that I can make. So let's choose sword recipe. Okay. We're going to, we're going to go over here, of course. And let's see, we're going to start with the weapon, but we'll also see if we can make an armor. All right, I still have that. Yeah, that status is actually permanent, huh? My God, until you actually rest or something. Okay, so it's it'd be the cutlass. Yeah, the cutlass would be the next one. That's what I'm looking at now. So you need uh, bronze plus any claw or fang. So basically, if we go here, we're gonna make a weapon, short sword. I think I actually already have the recipe for this one though. Yeah, I do. This one right here. So pretty easy. It's telling, showing, it's showing an insect jaw and then one bronze. It costs 56 to make it. What other um? How many do I have of these? Well, that's actually all I have, huh? I don't have any additional insect jaws. Okay, we're gonna press OK on this. We made a cut last. There we go. And now we can go ahead and uh, equip that new weapon there, which will be much stronger. Which is that one. Before we do that though, I want to see if I can actually use some of my RP probably to... Hmm, yeah, I probably should do it. Okay, we're going to upgrade a weapon. We're going to choose the Cutlass. And for ingredients, we're going to do like if we do, let's say, that. That's a whole lot of it. Oh my god. There's also a battle scythe here. These are going to be a lot. Huh? Oh my freaking god. I really have to upgrade this a lot. I really have to upgrade the level. Uh, we can choose that one. That one's much more tolerable. It's a Zweihander. Zwi okay. Maybe, and then that will probably end up up... Oh, that actually did an upgrade. For a skill up, I mean. Um... Put that right there. So the freaking toy hammer is... That'd be most of it, but I don't really have a choice unless I use the steel sword. That one's only 12. Um, sure. I don't need a steel sword anymore. And then we can go ahead and put this toy hammer in there. I'll take a hit on my health, that's fine. I'm down to 128. I'm just trying to get rid of some of this while also getting skill up and forging, you know? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now... I mean, I'll definitely equip that. So next time, I feel like we're going to be a lot more just better equipped. No pun, no, no, no pun intended. <laughs> for dealing with this, you know? So... Let's equip that. We are out of RP, though. So I'll have to, oh, that's another skill sword. That's right, because I actually got another one. So I'll have to use that one later, I suppose. We're equipping that. Attack plus 50, and now we're much stronger. Next step is going to be all this, all this stuff, but I also am trying to use all my RP, you know, to be gaining more levels with forging and crafting. It'll be helpful to do that. I can end the video here, though. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.